Hi, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. Don here. Um, what I want to share today with you is kind of the backstory behind something that that I've kind of put together called patient presentations. If you've followed some of these the podcasts or videos in the past, you may have heard of this, but I want to tell you a little bit about my the backstory. So basically, um, when I was starting out, I was just like everyone. Um, I finished residency in 2009, went into private practice. Um, I, I, I finished residency in July. There was a, a doctor that was moving to Arizona, and I basically picked up his, his patient population, and so kind of busy from the, from the get-go. But what I found is certain diagnoses were kind of complex, like plantar fasciitis or Achilles tendonitis. There's a lot of different treatment options. And then something happened. Um, basically what, what happened is I, there was a kind of a not, not too good of an outcome for one of the surgeons. And I think that may have happened to some of us before. And, and there was some kind of accusations that I, I didn't do a very clear kind of pre-surgical discussion. I think many times we're, we're kind of busy and we maybe talk to patients about surgery and then we just kind of go into doing the surgery. Everyone signs the paperwork, but they don't remember, oh, the doctor didn't go into detail about that. And when that happened to me, and this is something that I've learned over the years, is something, well, if I could do it over again, what would I have done different? And this was my real epiphany, where I was like, wow, um, if I could have done it again, I would have done a lot better uh, discussion, pre-surgical discussion. And that was actually my first patient presentation. I put together a slide deck called a, a pre-surgical discussion. Initially, it was just done in, in Google, Google Slides. I put together some slides. I put some images. Uh, over the time, it's improved over the last number of years that I've been using it. But as I started to do that for my pre-surgical patients, it really it really w it went into what we call like informed consent. Uh, they were really aware of what was going on. And I'll show you that the slide deck in a sec, a sec, a second, uh, some of these um, slides that I I'm using currently. Uh, and then as I started to do it more, I was like, wow, this really makes my my, my job a lot easier using these slides. And so when someone came in for their pre-surgical discussion, so basically it was 30 days prior to doing surgery when I got the consent and then I went over this discussion with them. And then from there, I kind of multiplied, like I recorded it as a video and I started to make other other slide decks called patient presentations, just made, made life a lot, a lot easier. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that slide deck in a second, but I, I wanna invite everyone, I'm gonna put a little link uh, underneath this, either this video or this audio where you can join is I'm going to do a webinar kind of going, doing a deep dive into these patient presentations. I'd like you to join me. Um, you can get the link underneath it and then we can kind of do a deep dive into how to do pa patient presentations, how to make your own, how to incorporate it into practice and, and things like that. So I, I think you'll enjoy it. It's been kind of a transformational thing that I wanted to share with everyone. So, okay, so here we go. Uh, this is patient present. These are my patient presentations. Here are all the different ones that I, I use. Uh, the one I specifically want to show to you is the one on surgery that I talked about. Um, <clears throat> actually, I leave it up top because I do it so much. <laughs> right. Here it is, surgery new. So you can see I have older versions and I have newer versions. The, the newer ones, I put new by it. The older ones, I don't put new by it because I'm, I'm always modifying these or having people. Now this one, this isn't how it looked when I first started, okay? Just so everyone knows it looked very kind of rudimentary in the beginning. Uh, but this is the slide deck that I currently use. And it takes me, I would say about, I don't know, 10 minutes to do with patients. Um, basically I go over the surgical discussion the main reasons for surgery, non-surgical treatments, imaging studies, surgical questions that people might have uh, before the surgery, during the surgery, anesthesia, talking about where I'm gonna do the local, surgical dressings, kind of after surgery, what they need, a boot cover. Um, I put this in, thing in for me, check the prescription drug monitoring report, that's what I have to do before every surgery, kind of that's a, a checker for me. Uh, pain medications, talking about that, after surgery planning, important questions, and then the possible complications. The main reason I do this is because of the possible complications and the treatments, if they have any of these. So this is the, the first slide deck, and I'm going to go into a lot more detail uh, when, we, when we meet together uh, about this. Uh, but that's what I want to invite you to. Um, there'll be a little link underneath here if you wanted to uh, join the, this webinar on patient presentations to kind of take in a deep dive 
into kind of how it's transformed practice. I think it, it just, it's been the best thing that's ever happened. And so I hope you will join, hope you find uh, some interest in this um, and we'll look forward to seeing you there. Okay, thanks guys.